Well, do you wanna undervolt your locked i5 to get more performance in games, more FPS, lower temperature and lower power consumption all at the same time, even on the worst motherboard out there? Well, this is the right video for you. And actually this is gonna work for every locked i5, locked i7 and locked i9 from 10th to 11th gen, they're all the same, the procedure is the same. Now, if you have better motherboards, I do have specific tutorials on the channel covering the i7s, the i9s with better motherboards, but if you have a bad motherboard and slash or an i5, this is the tutorial for you. Today we're using an i5-10400 and we're gonna be undervolting it with the most basic motherboard out there, an Asus Prime H410M. A. If you do have a pre-built, like an HP, Lenovo, Omen, Alienware, those have worse motherboard than this, okay? But if you have these, I have thought about you guys as well, and my mission on this channel is, with time, to cover every single possible motherboard CPU that will come out ever, and just show you how to tune it, okay? So if you wanna help me in my mission, drop a like and a sub, and let's go in the BIOS, we need to go in the BIOS. If you don't know how to do that, you just spam delete and F2 to get there once the PC is booting up. And let's see which few settings to change to increase your performance and do all the rest of the good things. Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, so here we are in the BIOS. Now, first thing you wanna do is make sure you enable your XMP. But before we do any of that, let's go into the advanced mode, which on the ASUS board is done by clicking F7. Now, once you're here, you wanna go in AI tweaker or depending on your motherboard's vendor, it might be called a little different, OC tuner, tuning, tweaker, something like that. And you wanna find the XMP option and just enable it. So this is first step. Now at this point, what we wanna do is find something that's called power saving and performance mode or MCE, multi-core enhancement. And we wanna put that on performance mode or on enabled. Now, if you don't have this on your system, don't stress out because we can still do it manually. So how do we do it manually? Well, we go in internal CPU power management or CPU power management, again, depending on your board, and we just unlock all of our limits. So just put all nines on every single one of them and just put the maximum value possible in every power limit or limit or window. So if it says limit or window, you just wanna max it out. So this is the first step. Now this is for performance. So if you're following this tutorial just for efficiency, you don't need to do this, okay? This is for the performance part. Now let's go to the wattage and temperature part okay so for that you want to go all the way down until you find something that's called cpu core slash cache voltage or it can be called v core in your motherboard so it will be one of these names okay once we are here we want to select it and go into offset mode now offset mode sign we want to put into minus if your motherboard does not have this you want to put the minus directly here and now here we want to put 0.05 right there now you want to hit f10 hit enter save and exit and just test it out for yourself but if this causes your pc to crash you want to lower your offset so you want to go for example 0.04 is a good one and 0.03 will work on every board but will give you less improvement if it makes sense you can also go higher if you feel lucky 0.06 is probably going to be the maximum for most i5s but this is how you do it so guys if it was helpful, please drop a like and a sub, and I have many more tutorials on the channel, and see you in the next one, okay? Goodbye.